And so I just think we should do it today. Let's just call for it. I'll, I'll make the motion, Mr. Chairman. I want to help you out. You can second it, right? Like, make the motion to impeach President Biden. Go ahead. It's your turn. Sec you second it. No, nothing. Okay, we got nothing. So I want to, with my last couple of minutes, show the American people that they're never going to impeach Joe Biden. It's never going to happen because they don't have the evidence. Okay, this is a show. It's all fake. They just want to do these hearings. It's not leading to impeachment. They're lying to their base on Newsmax and Fox, leading these people to believe that they're going to eventually impeach the president. It's not going to happen at all, ever, period. They don't even have the votes, even if they had it in committee. They don't have the votes on the floor. They know that. They got members resigning rather than taking a vote on the fake faux impeachment. Just ask Ken Buck, who said the speaker ain't going to get me to take an unconstitutional impeachment vote. Democratic Congressman Jared Moskowitz challenging House Republicans to hold a vote on President Biden's mm. impeachment during their latest hearing yesterday. He's like, come on, guys. We got it. Let's I do mean, it. Let's, he, you he's, ready? He, he's good. He's good. <laughs> Zeddy Murphy would say in coming to America, that boy's good. I mean, he is, he is good. And he's got a lot of material to work with, Rev. A lot of material. I mean, at this point, Fox, Newsmax, they're all going, come on. Uh. You're making fools of yourself. Obviously, they've been watching Morning Joe for like a, a year because that's what we've been saying. <laughs> I don't think so. Stop. No, serious. When no, you yeah. start, when you start putting Arnold the pig yeah. as your chief legal counsel, like that's a hint. They ha they <sighs> they have been making idiots of themselves for a year now. And when Arnold starts oinking, it really becomes here, here, obvious. Oh, oh, well, here's actual footage in the Republican caucus room arguing about. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's getting ready. Yeah, he's getting ready for the next hearing. He, Look at I, I got. I got this. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Reverend. No, I said we didn't mean to when Arnold starts makers. oinking while he's getting yeah. the cookies or yeah. something, yeah, then yeah. everybody knows who your counsel is. And I think, you know, you have to give it to Moskowitz. He really drove it home. I mean, it's. As a preacher, when you go to the climax of the sermon, he yeah. went there yeah. to where almost the Republicans had to say amen to that. Well, and he even had an invitation. Yeah. He said, <laughs> start playing just as I am and come on up if you want to impeach. No takers. Nobody came down front, Mara, because they've got nothing on Biden. I will tell you what irks me is it's not that these House Republicans... Are, are well, just stupid. They, they've just acted in such a stupid way, and I wish there were a better word to use than that. There's not a more eloquent word. There's not. But what really irritates me is I've had people in the mainstream media, as Trump would say, telling me constantly, like, what, what, why, why is the media avoiding this Hunter Biden scandal? Why is the media? I know we've all heard it. Oh, you know, we need to do a better job. We need to be more down the middle. And I've been going through this with a couple of well-known journalists. I go, what do you got? Give me what you got. Right. Oh, Tony <laughs> Bobolinsky. And give me more. What do you got? What? They have nothing. No. And they have been pushing this. And I think a lot of media outlets have gone, well, we have to be fair on both sides. Well, you have to be on fair, fair on both sides if there are facts on both sides. There have never been any facts here. No, I mean, you know, one of the tenets of journalism is you go where the facts lead you. And not all facts are, are equal. Not all sources are reliable. And the fact of the matter is there's no there there. And so continuing to treat this as though there is, is really doing a disservice not only to the president, obviously, mm -hmm. um, but really just to, to Americans, to the uh, electoral system. And it confuses people because you start to think, oh, well, they're all crooks. There's no difference. And that really is, is the point, is to distract from Donald Trump's actual prosecution over, you know, very right. real, very real issues and, and threats to democracy. And, of course, you know, what we're seeing here is all of this impeachment talk was fine when people were focused, when the Republicans were focused just on the primary. But now you're going to see the moonwalk right. a little bit here back mm -hmm. because they're thinking about November. And actually, I don't think that a circus trying to impeach uh, the president is going to actually be very good for Donald Trump. 
So the whole thing is trying to save Donald Trump from himself, trying to save themselves from Donald Trump. I mean, they're twisted in so many knots, they right. don't know what's up and what's down. And, and Jonathan, as long as they weren't pursuing this as actively as they, 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 they have been, and making fools of themselves, it was actually, sad to say, working. You talk about disinformation, you can look at the polls and all of the lies about Hunter Biden, all of the lies about Joe Biden getting rich off of Hunter Biden, all of the BS, all of the BS that the right wing Trumpers have been spewing, um, whether it's on podcasts or whether it's uh, in newspapers, whether it's on cable news, it's worked. And so the White House was really frustrated about, you know, who, who's bigger concern, you know, uh, you know, Trump and all of his his scandals or, you know, the Biden crime family. They didn't put it quite that way, but it actually cut into Joe Biden's polling. So Arnold the pig and his cohorts have actually done the White House a favor because they've exposed this lie. Right. This was dis disinformation that they made the mistake of putting out in the light of day, and light really is the best disinfectant. And it's wiped this clean off, off, off the slate for, I think, for most voters now. Yeah, in terms of a political play, they should have left it on Fox News, leave it on the podcast, leave it in their fundraising emails. But now that it's gone uh, into the halls of Congress and it's been exposed as, as a sham, they have repeatedly been unable to provide any sort of evidence. Their best witnesses are incarcerated or on the run, and they haven't provided any sort of real evidence that, that, that President Biden or his family have engaged in any sort of behavior that would be criminal or impeachable. And they're not giving up, at least not yet, because... Uh, Comer, Chairman Comer yesterday said that he's inviting President Biden uh, to come testify, that he wants and, the president and, and at this to point, come. That's why Newsmax, that's why Fox, everybody's going, hey, hey, mm. just leave it to the pig. Right. Like, don't, just stop this. Is Arnold the pig, by the way, one of yeah. the Republicans who actually went to one of those elite schools? Did he also have the degrees like Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley? Well, no, which is why he's only smart when there. Yeah. He, he, he went to Arkansas. He did. Okay. University of Arkansas. Uh, the, uh, we should just note that the postgrad. Post grad at Alabama, where right, I roll, roll tide. We had a picture of him up. I walked past Bear <laughs> Bryant <laughs> and yeah, him and, and Arnold right there. Yeah, he's got a prominent alum. Yeah, uh, the damn straight he is. Uh, the White House did not respond, but just to close the loop here uh, on the invitation of the president to respond. But Ian Sams did put out this statement saying that hearing was embarrassing for House Republicans, a total waste of time. It's time to move on from this sad charade. There are real issues the American people want us to address. That's White House spokesman. Uh, little known fact. Ian Sams, University of Alabama grad. I did know that, actually. And